I'm Guillermo, editor in chief of Bino Buff Magazine. <laughs> Today we're going to be tasting a, a Cabernet Sauvignon from Riccioli, Bonjour, and Sonoma County, California. This is a 2003 vintage. Let's taste it. Should we? That's why I don't like wine. It tastes like, like pee. Sucks, I don't like wine. All right, well, it's, it's, it's a fine tuning, but we're going to get it. Nicely done, Jeremy. If, uh, if you have a young girl between the ages of fetus and 14, no doubt you have a house full of these American girl dolls. Have you seen these? They're dolls, the little girls go crazy for them. Each doll has some kind of characteristic. One's from, uh, one's from New York, one wears bell bottoms. Uh, and they have a new one, a doll named Gwen, that's homeless. A ho it's a homeless doll that lives in a car with her mom because her father abandoned them. That's the story. That's a nice thing to put in a little girl's head. Daddy might bolt and leave you to live in the Buick, you know? Some people like it though, and uh, Gwen can be yours for $95 which coincidentally happens to be the average annual income for a homeless person. Uh, the American Girl Company said the doll offers valuable lessons about life, and uh, they're disheartened to learn that there's been any confusion about their characters, which I guess that makes sense, but um, how do they explain Sharina, the American Girl street hooker, which is, uh, <laughs> they call her Sharina, but you can name her anything you want, actually. This is, um, this you're gonna like, there's a, uh, a show on the BBC called Last Chance to See. Two guys named Stephen and Mark go to exotic locations in search of animals that are about to be extinct, and then they kill them on camera. No, they don't kill them on camera. <laughs> You're a very dumb group, aren't you? <laughs> they just look at them. On this uh, upcoming episode, Stephen and Mark went to New Zealand where they found a very rare, very fat parrot who uh, became extremely comfortable with Mark right away. Sirocco is clearly only interested in one thing. <laughs> oh, look at that. <laughs> God, he's got sharp claws. He's a bit crispy. Oh. Do you think that he's, a, um, he's actually attempting a sort of mating with you? He is. Oh, he must. <laughs> You are sure, 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 sure. Well, not now. Sure. Look, he's so happy. <laughs> so good. Oh, wow. Wow. He's really going for it. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff to draw. Maybe the reason they're going extinct is because they're humping human beings' heads. <laughs> All right, on that note, it's uh, Friday night and it's time for our weekly tribute to the FCC where we bleep and blur things whether they need it or not. It is this week in unnecessary censorship. We've been, actually been together 56 years. We're married 50. We f around for six years with practice. <laughs> Since we're just going balls to the wall here, I woke up on the floor with a table on top of me and my dog me. The IOC's decision is a kick to the for the residents of Chicago. And no matter what your celebrity used to do, you have to always, always, always their face. So my daughter comes home with stains, paint stains and stains and all kinds of stains. The thrower was apparently targeting the IMF chief, but missed. This is the, actually the first time I've ever f***ed a pig. <laughs> <laughs> Please welcome the fantastic, wonderful Harry Jr. <laughs> Kristen Cavallari dropped an F-bomb, as in Uh-huh. I also wanted to preface my question by saying how much I love my husband. However, <laughs> he f***s like a Neanderthal. <laughs> oh, that's a good boy. Yes, who has a zombie? <laughs> is here. We have music from Shinedown, and we'll be right back with Woody Harrelson, so stick around. Young lady who 
used to be on uh, The Hills, but then she realized that she hated all those people and now has her own show called The City. It's currently in its second season on MTV. Whitney Port is here. Also tonight, a um, multi-platinum selling band from Jacksonville, Florida. This is their latest CD, The Sound of Madness. Music from Shinedown on the Bud Light Golden Week stage. Next week, uh, we've got quite a lineup. Patricia Heaton, Joel McHale, Richard Belzer, Kelsey Grammer, Michael Moore, the cast-offs from Dancing with the Stars, Kiss, The Gossip, Backstreet Boys, and Motorhead together. <laughs> Performing together, so that'll be something else. And this isn't even, I should say, a big, big, big weekend for our security guard, Guillermo. Guillermo, why is this an exciting weekend for you?